like Scott Maxwell said, you know, people may not want to work, uh, serve for more than two years. When you make it an odd year every three years, how are you going to know until you get all these flyers? And then it's going to be the person with the most money or the most vested interest. You know, it doesn't make sense to me, and especially to apply this retroactively. That just goes against all principles of law and democracy to me. Thank you. Thank you. Well, what I was doing. I said one, I have to one more comment. I want to take a swipe at Congress. Okay. Yeah, comment was made earlier. Uh, that is a lousy excuse for having two year terms. I mean, how's that working out for us? I mean, there's nothing going on in Congress right now. Nothing. Well, yeah, and it's not, it's not an odd even thing. There's an election every year. Whether it's odd or even, we have an election every year. We have, we just had an election in 2016, right? And we have an election coming up in 2017. And we'll have one in 2018 and 2019. Yeah, it's not an odd even thing. It's every year in the city, which, which to, to me plays upon, you know, getting business done a lot of times because you're, you know, you're trying to do your work up here too. And then you're right. You've got candidates every single year running a campaign in the middle of trying to get their regular work done here for the city, and then in addition to that, getting their work done in another job somewhere else, and then in another job, you know, as well as their home responsibilities and everything else. It's very difficult. <laughs> I could care less. I mean, whatever you guys want to do, I'm fine with. I'm, I'm supportive or not supportive. For me, the thing is that, like I said, I didn't, I didn't bring this up or whatever, um, so it's of no consequence. It's up to what you guys would like. The hard thing is, I think, the most difficult thing, and maybe Commissioner Meyer, he's the newest member to the commission, could attest to or not, is the first year is the hardest because you're getting up to speed with how things work, learning, you know, remember, we're a unique city in that we're not just running a general fund budget, we're also running a, an electric utility budget, we're running a reverse osmosis water treatment plant, we're running a, a beach fund, a utility, I mean, get, when, you're, when you come from the private sector into government that first year, boy, oh boy, oh boy, it's a huge learning experience and you're going year, year and a half into just figuring out how things operate, how things do, how to have the conversations, how to ask the right questions, to get the information that you need. That I think for the first time, and then you're running again. By the time you figure it out, you're running again. So I, I think for the first time, person getting, I know my myself included when I first got here, that was, that took the longest amount. If you care to do a good job, you've got a lot of learning to do. So, uh, you know, I feel kind of mixed about the two. What kind of mix about the two, but I, I'm open to letting the people decide. That's fine with me. Um, if you're happy with the, with it, we have but we have a motion on the floor in a second. Do we not? Yes. Okay. Did you, Commissioner McQuay? Yeah. Two things. Um, one would be a question that I guess would be up to you, Mayor. Uh, is would given that there does seem to be some degree of discomfort with the start date, um, but possibly support for putting it to a vote with the, the three years. So my question that you would want to ask is, is the maker of the motion willing to adjust the start date? And the other one is a little bit unrelated, but kind of relevant to this, um, and that's just to reiterate a request that I've made before, and I think some other commissioners may have also. We used to identify items on the agenda as to who put them on, which might be staff, or it might be a commissioner, or it might be whoever, um, and I, I kind of encourage us to go back to that. Um, if they were, yeah, if they were put on by a certain commission member or if they were brought on the staff, yeah, that's fine. I'm okay with that. And then I guess to come back to the idea, do we want to modify the motion? Do we, do we want to who, who was the maker of the motion? I did. And did you want to? I'll, I'll let it stand at the moment. moment. Okay. And second stands? Right I, I do a second. No, you need a second? Sure. Uh, yes. Right, we've got a motion on the floor, then in a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Nay. Nay. Motion carries three to two. No, I'm sorry, motion, motion lost. Motion, motion yeah, lost three lost. to two. Sorry. I mean, if you carried it. Motion to table this item. Well, okay. the losing party can bring it back up. And I just did. I move that we uh, the adopt a three year term beginning outwards that we don't grant ourselves anybody grants themselves any new any times that wasn't originally voted on. So each so each commission member it wouldn't it would reflect anyone sitting up here's commission term as it stands yeah, right now. Each of us has to run again. Okay. So I, I think we would have to, to do that. We'd have to pick a date, whether it's that's why I asked March twenty eighteen or twenty nineteen. I no we could still run we could still make it effective this coming March. Folks are gonna vote on it in November. So the two seats are up in March would be up for three years and then the following year 
No offers up. We'll be up for three years. Of course. So what is your effective date? Or your commencing date? The commencement date is the same as, as in the backup. The only difference is we don't. We're not retroactively. We're not. We're not retroactively activating any time. So meaning that the same way it reads in the backup would mean that the March election would then be for a three-year term, but it wouldn't be retroactive. Meaning the three of us. the three of us that just won Correct. the recent election would not be given a third year until we ran again. Exactly. So so basically, it would affect it would affect the two members that are here right now that are running for re-election in March because that's a new election. So in order for one of us and to have a three-year term, we would have to run again. Uh, if you just change the language to 2018 at the end of the sentence instead of 2016, it answers all of that. Okay. Is there some motion? Is somebody making so, a motion? Well, I'm, well, I'm, 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 we're trying to get we're trying to get to the to the meat and potatoes to see if we have consensus on that part. Okay. How how would that be any different? Because I heard from um, the commissioner that. He wouldn't want it to affect anyone sitting up here. They could easily be reelected, and it would affect them. So that's why I voted to table it to put it out farther because we're yeah. still. It, it doesn't affect the three of us, but it affects the other two. I think we're getting a little confused here. I think. May I, may I? Whatever. All I'm saying here is that if we agree that maybe looking at a three-year term, putting that up for a vote of, 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 of the people. Is the direction we want to go? That the first group of commissioners that would serve a three-year term would be those coming up next March in 17. Yeah. No. Those who are up in two, those of us who would be up in 18 would have. We would not start our three-year term if we were reelected yeah. until 2000. Okay, is that? Well, that's not what we voted on earlier. No, but that's also not the conversation. The conversation that McVoy had brought up that it would not affect anyone sitting up here. Well, it does affect all of us. It has to affect all of us, potentially, if, we're if, you're running, if you're running for re-election. Well, you know, I'm trying to make a point. Commissioner McWhite. Commissioner Amoroso is quite correct that I think the best way to do it is if you want to put this out, put the, uh, the commencing date of the three-year terms to be far enough out that it doesn't relate to any of us. And I stretched my brain a little bit to figure out what that year would be and not 2041 or something or other. But, um, uh, you think like March of 18? I would think that that would make sense. I don't know, you could even make an argument for March of uh, 19, but um, I, I don't know where you draw the line. But, but Commissioner Amoroso is correct that, that if you were to start it this coming March, 2017, it would affect the folks that might want to run again here. And I would say it should, you know, it should have a reasonable probability that, that we're all gone and it affects future people, so that we're not self-interested one way or the other. No Vice Holman, oh, Vice Mayor. There's no self-interest because the vote, as I understand, is going to be taken in November. Yeah. Right. The decision would be made before any of us are up for re-election going forward. I, I think it's interesting that Commissioner Amoroso did recognize there would have an effect, and I agree with that. Well, it's going to have an effect on somebody at some point. Like you said, where do you draw the line? That's why I said you can't look into the future. I think we, tabling it is we, what I would hope. We can bring it back at the next meeting. However, to get it on the November ballot, you would have to have first reading and adoption next month. And then you miss the window to get it on the ballot. My motion was to take So I can bring it out at the next meeting for first reading rewritten correctly. Do you want to table it or do you want to bring it back to the next meeting? Oh, my motion was to table. Don't you have to have a second for him to table? His motion was, I'm going to ask. Hello. Hello. Running the meeting here. Good. Then you Thank you. Meeting. Thank you. We've got a motion to table it. Do I have a second? Oh, is, can anybody second or does it have to be the original seconder? Is this a new motion? No, it's a new motion. Oh, I'll second that. Okay. Any Sorry. public comment cards on that? Seeing there are none, all those in favor state so by saying aye. 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 State so by saying no. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. So confusing. History <laughs> in the making. That was extremely confusing. <laughs> so in other words, we're not doing it. Correct. That's right. <laughs>